<laughs> very confusing gentleman, very confusing um, lecture in itself. I think that having been in the university academic environment for um, several years, I, I find these kind of events rare, where people can come and say things that they would get really criticized for in um, our classes. And so people who have legitimate questions about something like, man, that makes kind of sense, I'd like to ask a question about it, can ask it without getting mocked. Well, who knows, maybe some of the opposition will mock me for my question today, but you can ask it and you can have a, a kind of freedom of thought. And I appreciate that, whether or not you agree to have the freedom of thought. And the second thing I'll say about it is that uh, I think it's refreshing to have uh, a university that's, that appears to foster diversity of thought in a way um, so where people um, can respectfully listen to uh, other people's ideas instead of everybody just agreeing the same thing. So that's my thought. And I, I thought it was very racist when he said, um, that uh, all Palestinians are racist and that uh, Israel should carpet bomb, the, carpet bomb the Gaza Strip. I didn't support it because the guy said you kill the terrorists. This is a terrorist state that's firing rockets. You do one of two things. Look, if there were Canadians sitting on the border shelling, uh, you know, uh, actually Detroit is right across the river, firing rockets into Detroit, what do you think the United States would do? And what do you think any Arab country would do if they were doing that to them? I mean, let's have a standard, one standard here. That, you know, uh, Hitler, uh, Hitler hid the final solution from the Germans. He did not tell the German people he was going to exterminate the Jews because he thought they were too civilized and might object. The Palestinians don't object. And in fact, if you look at the Muslim world, it doesn't object. Ahmad Yad is shouting from the rooftops he wants to wipe Israel from the face of the earth. Where is the Muslim protesting that? The Muslim country, the Muslim party, the Muslim leader? There is none. Um, the uh, analysis of Palestinian culture and its roots in um, uh, its historical roots in uh, Nazism and fascism, and its uh, its current hate for Jews and its genocidal tendencies. That was that question. The people in the, at the end who were kind of asking questions were getting upset. Uh, I think it was just to provoke them, and, 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 and honestly, I don't know. I was I was surprised that he got so excited about it. But um, so I would say it ended up being a lot worse than I thought. It would be. Yeah, except that they held elections. <laughs> And 100% uh, of the votes went to a genocidal Nazi organization, Hamas, or a genocidal uh, corrupt uh, Nazi organization, PLO. So, uh, also, you know, this is a I, in the history of the world, there has never been a culture where people have murdered their own children for <coughs> a cause, strap bombs onto a 14 year old, and send him over to blow up other 14 year olds. And tell him he's going to heaven because he's a male, he's going to get 72 virgins. How sick is that? Uh, I don't know if you've watched, but it's all over the internet. You can watch the, uh, the videos of three year olds where they have these little bombs they strap on them, or they have this cartoon, the Mickey Mouse, on uh, PLO TV, uh, or maybe it's on Al Jazeera, uh, blowing up things. <laughs> There's a form of denial, and I think everybody has it. it, it it's just too horrible to contemplate that this could be true, so there must be another explanation. Um, I agree with many of the points, but I think he went a little too far with some generalizations about religions and cultures, but I think a lot of his observations are accurate. If they're Muslim and they're Arab, they're misogynistic. You know that there are 140 million girls who have their Muslim girls, who every year have their genitals sliced off without an anesthetic. Now, you can read that in the New York Times. I see somebody holding their head, but uh, I read that in the New York Times, a very liberal paper. We bent over backwards to say, well, this is a cultural thing that we need to also try to understand. I don't even understand it. Especially when you see, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the videos of these little girls. They're held down, they're screaming. It's just terrible. Uh, this is a culture, this, uh, if you're living in a Muslim state,
you're living in a Muslim state and you are upset, if you're a woman and you're raped, you need to get four male witnesses to the rape. Otherwise, you have committed uh, an illegal sexual act. Because you haven't been raped if you don't have the four men to be the witness. You can't be a woman, you can't, you can't have women testifying because women are what? Second class citizens in Islam. Um, and they can kill you. You don't call that misogynistic? I do. Or you, know, you have to be covered from head to foot or risk death. Did you watch CNN, which is a liberal channel, and the reporter was a Muslim herself and liberal, went back to see the status of women in uh, Afghanistan, five years after liberation. And she interviewed these women who <laughs> burned themselves, set themselves on fire because life was so horrible as a woman in a Muslim, uh, in a Taliban culture. Now, of course, Turkey does not have such a stringent regime. In Saudi Arabia, if you're a woman, you can't drive a car. Women aren't allowed to drive cars. You don't call that misogynistic? I do. That's my answer. That's why I, I, I made the generalization. The, you know who liberated women in the, in the, uh, in the Arab world? Because Iran is an Arab. In the Muslim world, it was the Shah of Iran. That's why they overthrew him. He said women can get an education. He said women can remove the veil. There's a really interesting book for those of you who are on the left called Reading to uh, Lolita in Tehran. It's by an Iranian woman who was at the University of Oklahoma uh, during the 70s, and it was part of the Marxist, the Iranian Marxist society. And she and her friends all went back to Iran when the Ayatollahs came to power. And her radical friends, one by one, got executed. Why? Because they thought the Ayatollah, of course, anti-imperialist, it was a national liberation. But in fact, he wanted to take Iran back to the 7th century. And he meant it. He was very serious about his uh, Muslim, his version of uh, Muslim faith. But if you believe that human beings can carry out God's will, or that human beings can accomplish a redemption, then you're very dangerous in my book. Now, communism was an atheistic creed, but it was a very religious one. And it, it, to be a communist or, um, is to believe that you can redeem the world by human agency. Now, that's, why, that's why they killed 100 million people. And in my view, many people, now people use the word social justice to do all kinds of things. But if you believe that you can transform the world, that we can have a world without racism, sexism, homophobia, uh, war, poverty, then you're a very dangerous person in my book. Because you will, if you believe, if you believe that you can create what in effect is the kingdom of heaven on earth, then there's no crime you won't commit and no lie you won't tell to achieve that. Because it's so, the higher the ideal is Nietzsche, who said idealism kills. So that's my view. Now within, Islam today, and there are religious fanatics in Christianity as well. But within Islam, there's a very powerful movement uh, that believes that they can do Allah's will, they know Allah's will, and can accomplish it by blowing up uh, office buildings, uh, by maybe dropping atomic bombs on uh, civilian populations. They're very dangerous. So what? I mean, what exactly? Sorry, you're only supposed to have one question. So I said, well, well, basically the answer is that people have within them this desire to make things meaningful. And if they think that human beings can do it, that's where you get these fanatical rules.